These are my buff Orpington chicks. They're about three weeks old and they're getting too big for this container here. I do have a chicken coop but it needs to be cleaned up and things need to be fixed up on it. So that's my project today, trying to get things ready so these guys can go outside. This is our kind of makeshift chicken coop. It was thrown together for turkeys and the hens hardly ever use this. They do use the nesting boxes sometimes, but the ravens have learned to come in here and steal my eggs. Um, most of the time, sorry, the, the chickens roost up there and you can see my canoe is covered in chicken poop. And I really want to get that fixed this year. Hi, Lilac. <laughs> and they have goat neighbors. <laughs> so, my plan is, I hate this dark wood. It just makes it dreary in here. Um, I did find some spray paint that we had. Some white spray paint. And I need to get the nesting boxes up off the ground. These are old drawers that were here when we got here. I think they were part of the kitchen, the old kitchen or something. I'm not sure. But there's many of these drawers. And my plan is to fix them up a little bit. Maybe paint the front part. I'm not sure. And then screw them onto the, the boards on here. Or have my husband screw them, we'll see. <laughs> He's a lot better at it. So first I need to get cleaning this out from this winter. And I'm going to put a sand floor in here. I like to use the sand floor because it acts more like a big litter box. And you can use a pick um, to get all of the straw and the chicken poop up. It makes it a lot easier, a lot easier to clean. They can dust spray themselves to kill mites, and I think they just like it a lot better too. So that is the plan today. Also, my husband cut down a pine tree, and I was looking out the window, and there's some branches on it that I'm going to use as roost in here. So I have to cut those branches off and haul them over here. All right, let's get started. As I was cleaning this out, I got the ground pretty good. I was thinking about it that these pieces of plywood don't really serve a purpose anymore. I think they were there to keep uh, firewood from uh, blowing out the sides. But they really don't serve a purpose. They're kind of rotting. And so I'm just going to take them down and then I won't have to paint them. Instead I'm going to paint the dresser drawers and then we'll hang them up. All right, I got all the wood taken off on here. I said all right again. <laughs> I'll try to stop doing that. And looks like there's some kind of bird nest or mouse nest and a hubcap thing. I don't know how old it was. The floor is done. I just need to get the sand. And I'm waiting for the drawers to dry. And now I'm going to go get the branches off the pine tree to bring in here for roosts. All right, I got the dresser drawers painted. I'm just letting them dry. They were, the wood is so old, they were just soaking up the paint. So I'm gonna leave them like this. They're just mostly whitewashed, but that's fine with me. I just wanted to lighten up the house. So it looks not as dreary and that in the winter time, it might encourage them to lay more eggs because it'll be lighter in there. Maybe, <laughs> we'll see. Here's the dead pine tree he cut down. And some of these branches are still left. So I think I'm going to take this one for a roost. And this one looks good, but I'll have to bring out an axe. And maybe there's some over there. But 
this is what I'm going to use for a roost and pretty sure they're going to love it. Well, there's another good one back there. My husband got busy so I had to put the drawers in by myself and it actually was really easy. So I have them in. I'm going to fill them with straw. And these are the roots I found. One was pine tree and one was a willow tree. I'm going to go get some sand and fill up the bottom. And then before I put the chicks in here, I have to plug all the holes over there and in all the corners, adjust the heat lamp and just make sure everything is safe for them. And All right, so I got the sand in and the roosts up and straw in the boxes. So everything's done. Tomorrow I'll see what the weather's like and then I'll adjust everything to for the chicks and bring them out here. As long as the weather's not raining and too bad. And they will they can already fly, so they'll be on those roosts. Have a good night.